okay now we need to do few things which we are going to use throughout our application throughout our project right so right now if you see we have few modules and each of these modules will have one colors.xml file okay and if we add some colors in only one colors.xml file how we are going to use those colors in any other module right for simplicity right now I will show you we have one colors.xml right inside our app module we have this file if you want to use any of these colors in other module let's say we want to use inside chat module layout file right so if you want to use this color we will not be able to access this because this colors.xml is inside app module and this chat sub module does not has this app module as a dependency and this will not have also like we will not add this be why because we don't want cyclic dependency cyclic dependency means if you have one module added as a dependency in one module and then later on you are adding the same module inside this module as well let's say understand it like this you have two module app module and chat module so we have added this chat module as a dependency inside our app module and later on if you try to add this app module as a dependency inside this chat module so it will be a cyclic dependency we don't want that so now we need one individual module which will handle all of these resources right so that if we have any resource inside our project we can add inside that module and then we can use in all of the modules how we can do that so now we need one module kind of a central resource management module right which will handle all of the resources inside our project so we can do that by creating one module and and we need android library so we are going to call it as central you can name it anything you want but we are going to call it as central module because it will handle all of the resource inside our project and then we need to call this this is the package and we can just use this and we are going to finish this okay let's close these and our central module is created okay these dependency I am just replacing with default we don't need these so as we have defined we are just going to use the same way now this is our central module okay let me just go inside source main so we only have Java folder here so inside our main package we are going to create one resource directory as well this one okay and inside our resource we are going to create same folder like if you see we have one resource folder here right so we have values folder and if we go inside this main module as well you are familiar already with this resource directory structure right inside resource we can have layout and then drivers and values right and inside value we can have colors and a string all of these things which we need so inside our resource we are going to create one folder values and quickly let's create one directory for drivers as well okay this one like same we have drivel okay let's create drivel now inside value we are going to create one file okay and we are going to name it as color.xml and if you see our color structure is same so we have some colors here right but these colors are not looking very good so I have created few resources right so first of all let's take those colors okay so inside our resources first we need these colors so let me just copy these from here okay so we have few colors we need to define these colors okay so I have defined all of these colors here I also have few other themes but that we will use later for now we have these colors right so now let's modify our theme quickly as well so we are using color primary here okay so this theme if you see we are not able to access the colors from this central project as of now why we are not able to use this let me show you once again we have defined this color right color primary if I go to theme and try to use this it's not coming why because if you see our theme is inside app module right and this central module 
has this colors file okay so if we want to use any file from this central module we need to include this central module inside our app module okay let me show you how we can do that we need to go to the build.gradle of app module okay then we have these modules right so first of all we need to define this modules from our settings we can take this central okay we are defining this inside our dependencies and modules okay I have defined this now first of all we need to sync our project okay once our project is synced we will close this and we need to include this as the dependency okay this you can see this is our file from app module okay here we are including this okay so if someone tells you that you have this central module include this module as a dependency inside this app module what we need to do we are just including it like this project and then modules dot central okay like this and then we will sync the project okay so that means now we have added this chat this central and this onboarding all of these modules as a dependency inside our primary app project module okay you can check out these here as well we have this chat onboarding and central okay let's close this and now if you go to themes we will be able to access the colors so let's open the colors file so you will see that now there are duplicate colors files there is no harm in these files because both of these files are in different module but if you want you can delete the files also so if we want to delete this colors.xml from our app module we can delete it okay like this and then now if you open the colors only one color file is there this is inside central resource management system okay this module here we can write the colors so let me just open this in right side so we can use these colors here we have color primary we have color primary variant also we have color primary also here we can use the same color basically and we have color secondary color secondary variant and then color secondary okay status bar color we are using the same primary variant okay oh well, let's use the same dark color color primary okay so this is basically designed using a theme I will show you that also separately but for now this is basically a color theme which will look little bit nice we hope okay now if we go inside uh, but so one another thing there is two themes right night theme is also there there also we can use the same themes for now we can use the same color basically so let me just copy this and we can replace this as well here okay let's add one space and one here now we are good to go okay so now all the resources we it color or a string or any other thing we will define here so let's take this string also we have this string right so as of now let it be here but in future we will use this because we will also add translation inside our project right localization so inside our colors we will add two more colors color black and white just for our reference now let's just close this and now let's focus on implementation onboarding module we will cover it first so there is one another important thing which I want to tell you based on my years of experience in Android development if someone tells you that only use one activity inside your project and then use fragments fragments and activities we need to use based on our preference don't run behind anyone else opinion that if someone is telling you that okay only use one activity inside your project don't take tag debit if you just try to make your application stable right so use your instinct and make try to make it as simple as possible there are two approach right one approach is fancy 
where you just want to use one single activity and then you want to just you know put all of the things together in fragment there is one another thing where you can use fragments or activity or any other component based on your requirement based on your architecture design I will suggest that for every module starting point we need to use one activity then inside that module we can use as many fragments as we want we'll use fragments right but we need to see we need to understand where we should use fragments and where we should use activity I will show you this inside our videos why I was saying this okay because I have also followed all of these architectures where I just use fragment a lot of fragments right but later on when we deal with notifications and other things right you will get to know why I was saying this I will show you this okay so let's start with onboarding thing we'll create one activity here okay let me just create one empty activity we will name it as onboarding activity okay it's getting created fine now inside our onboarding activity first thing is we need one theme okay this is our theme right now this has one action bar also but let's create one more new theme style and let's say let's call it as full screen theme okay and let's make it parent as this theme dot post office let's try to use this for now and then we are going to use item full screen as true okay and then let's try to use this inside manifest now we have three manifest and don't worry about it we will create modules and we will get one individual manifest for each module don't worry about it so we can go inside here and you see we have exported as false why because onboarding activity is not a launcher activity so you will see this exported added in every activity or any Android component inside a manifest file but do you know what is the difference like where we should mention this false have all true after Android 12 if you want to access any activity or any Android component from out of the application right we want to export those component at my channel I have a playlist where I show the changes inside Android 12 if you are keen to learn this you can check out those video I will just add on the screen here okay but for now we can just add one theme here we can use this theme with a style full screen but if we try to access that full screen we are not able to get why because this style is not here right these things will happen because themes is inside this so let's take this theme also to this central module because we will need themes throughout our project right so we are going to take this theme we are going to add it here okay and we are going to take this values night also and let's delete these from here okay so now we have themes inside central module and now we can take this central module as a dependency inside onboarding module okay so this is our onboarding module we can use implementation project modules dot central this central will be there in every project because we need themes or some other resources in every module right so inside this chat also we can add this these are very important steps this is how we can use modular architecture we are in creating one module as a dependency in other modules right so now every module is responsible and representing some set of features 
so if any other module needs those feature we are just integrating that particular module as a dependency okay this is how we use modular architecture and modular architecture also provide us loosely couples modules right because every module is independent every module is doing something independently and then we are integrating those modules as a dependency okay let's just go back to our styles and here we can access now full screen theme see this is the beauty this full screen theme you will find it inside central module right this is the file themes central module but we are using this inside onboarding module okay and that's because we have integrated this central module as a dependency inside onboarding module okay so we have added this now let's try to go to main activity and let's try to add one basic function okay go to onboarding screen okay for now let's add this and here we can add one intent and one another thing we are going to use navigation using dagger and hilt as well don't worry at all we are i am just showing you step by step i don't want to just initiate the dagger hilt at the starting point itself please stay with me and support the channel i will show you everything okay we will do everything together so let's start this intent from here okay this main activity and then we are going to add the destination that will be onboarding activity class dot java okay this we are adding it we just show the splash screen and we just go to the onboarding screen okay and inside onboarding screen let's just see okay first we sync this now let's run our application and let's see how our app is looking like are we getting the full screen because we have added that inside the theme right let's close all of these screens okay so as of now we are not getting the full screen right so let's go back to main activity this is our main activity okay so we just went to the onboarding screen and if we see this onboarding screen so this is using this full screen so let's use another theme directly here theme dot no action bar is there yes this one okay so we have added this no action bar so now one blank screen should come because inside our onboarding activity we don't have anything yeah you can see this then we come back to the main screen and like this we have okay that's fine that's fine now inside our main activity when we go to the onboarding activity we are going to add few extra data okay so now we are adding few flags as well so that when we go from main activity to onboarding activity and we come back so it does not come back to the main activity right so we are just going to use clear task or new task right now when we go from main activity to onboarding we will just see one empty screen and if we come back it will just go out of the application right see this again we come here and we go back right this is fine now inside this what we are going to do we will update this onboarding activity right so first we are going to use data binding as well but before that let's design the layout little bit so what we need is i need some indication on top here like one indication second and third and i need some images some text and then once we welcome the user we go back to the login screen so first let's design this we need few screen so i have few images okay onboarding images so let's just take these three images come back and inside central module or as these images are only needed inside onboarding so we can directly add here okay now we have these three images okay we have these three images this is fine let's minimize this and first of all we need one frame layout or let's try to add it one by one so if we have a frame layout here okay 
we have match parent match parent now inside frame first let's add one image view okay this also we are going to keep as match parent only and let's try to set one image first let's say we set this 3 or we set 2 we set this one okay so all of these images are coming perfectly if we try to set a scale type center crop okay now it's coming perfectly okay this fine we can set this here for now and this we can set tools okay this tools means if we use tools for this source so right now we are seeing this image but if we run the project we will not see this image okay let me show you this also because this is basically for designing implementation development purpose if we write here android you will see this image and we run the program you will see this image in the design layout also but if we write here tools so whatever we set dynamically we will see that later on okay for now let's minimize this and let's go back to our design implementation again inside our frame we are keeping this so now we need to put some text and all on top of it right so what we can do is we can just take this as out here this is full itself so now this is inside constraint so we can add just some calls we can add some constraint start to start off parent and and to end of parent I'm sure you are familiar with constraint layout but if you are not we will cover this concept also separately basically all of the concept we are going to cover separately as well inside our Android development playlist so you please stay with me and support to the channel and I will show you everything in Android I promise let's modify this again top to top of parent and bottom to bottom of parent okay we have added this as constraint now inside our frame layout we are going to add some text okay so let's add one text view match parent and this is going to be wrap content for now and some text we are going to add so for that we need few string first of all right so inside strings we are going to create one string file inside our central project okay we need strings everywhere so we are not going to use this string instead we will create one string inside values string stored xml okay and inside this first let's write some string onboarding message one and let's write join the best social app of the century now let's add few more because we need at least three so we'll just say onboarding message two and you know this shortcut command d it will just keep on adding one new line with the same line where you are at if I will add here right it will create the same line like this okay so here we add one string communicate with your friends and family with ease okay then we are going to add one another message make video and audio calls easily and show your status okay we have these three message basically so we have onboarding message one first okay and we keep this here and now if you see if I zoom it we have the text okay so for our text we need to have some style right so we can create one style inside this styles file we don't have any styles yet all right so we create one styles file also here 
okay we have this this is also inside central module itself let me minimize this so you don't get confused inside central inside value this is styles we create one styles quickly and we tell it as onboarding text okay and inside this we can use some predefined headlines let's try to see this text okay and if we just take this let's see how it's looking like inside onboarding okay this is looking like this okay like this it's looking like so we can take this we can take this headline part and we can just first of all close others we can just go to the styles and let's try to modify this okay so we can try to add text size first of all and let's say we have 21 sp we can take text color and this we are going to take as white let's take text its style or for example let's try to take this and let's make it as bold we can also take font family some font family are inbuilt so we can take those we I will show you how we can take other font as well inside our project for now what fonts are available how it's looking let's take this first let's use here okay this is not good okay these font families are not good we will add another font later on for now let's use this only okay this is fine but we are going to keep this at bottom somewhere so we can just take this and let's try to add one button also we need one button right first we need one button so we can just take inside this frame first of all we need one constant layout again okay and this we are going to keep it as match parent itself and then we will add all of the text here so first we need one button okay we need oh let's add some constraint here start to start of parent and to end of parent okay this fine top and bottom we will add just now first we need one button and this we are going to say match parent for now and height will say at least 48 dp okay and then we can take some colors some background color and we can take secondary or well, let's say primary only we will take color okay this we are going to keep primary variant this primary variant we are going to keep for now and here we are going to add one string as so this also will use inside central string we will also localize these that's why we are keeping it at one place so we will say next and we will add it as next okay and text we are going to use this next string and this color also we need as white text color white okay and or will it look good if we use color as secondary variant let's use light this fine okay and then we will keep this button at the bottom so bottom to bottom of parent okay and then we need one skip button also so first let me just add one text or let's take this as button only and we will just use and we will not use this next we will use here skip skip we will take this as skip here and we will use background as null 
okay and we are going to remove this for now here we have one skip button right you can see this and this match parent we are not going to keep we are going to keep as wrap yeah this looks fine at least this area we will keep this at right hand side so bottom to bottom of parent we'll use here as end to end of parent ok now error is gone this is set and now let's give some id to this button is skip ok now let's set this next button on top of this so we'll say bottom to top of and we'll use this button yeah this is fine we'll modify it just stay with me and here what we are going to do is start to start of parent and to end of parent okay this is fine now we need this text also here somewhere so first let's give some ID button next and add this bottom to top of but now we need little bit of a spacing here so we can just say margin bottom 100 dp yeah, at least this looks fine but here also I need some space so we can take this and we can add here as well let's say we add here 60 dp itself because thumb will be close to this button right so we need to make this as user friendly so that they can easily click right so this 60 this we can make it as let's try to see 40 yeah this is fine now let's add some padding at all okay so this is the constraint layout we can add padding start 18 dp and we can add padding and 18 dp now let's add enhance this text size little bit okay this is our one button and this button we are having as primary variant let's keep it as primary now let's try to run this but before that we want to see this image also for now so what we can do we need to just make this as Android now let's try to run our app and let's see how it looks like okay we have an skip button we have this next button one message or oh, let's make it as white and this text we can keep it as primary variant yeah this is fine and this text also we can increase the size little bit 18 SP this skip also we can increase text size 18 SP and all of these text are coming in capital so we can just say all caps false same thing we can say inside this okay now what we want is when we click on the next button this image change and some message also change right and then we will go to the final thing so let's try to jump in the onboarding activity and we'll implement the things here but before that we need data binding also so to enable data binding we need to come inside this android part and we need to add this build feature data binding as true and we need inside onboarding as well chat as well so we can add in chat as well in onboarding as well okay let's sync the project our project is synced so we can close all of those files and to make any layout with data binding we just need to use this layout folder and then at the end we need to use 
this layout closing tag okay and it is saying that these are already added inside the top data layout tag right so we can remove from here and like this now layout is now converted with data binding so now our layout is using binding okay and now we can come back to onboarding activity okay now inside our activity we can just create one variable we can use late init bar and we are going to call it as binding of activity onboarding binding okay this will be generated when we use this binding thing right so it will create one activity binding itself for us then we just need to use here our binding will be data binding utils dot set content view we need to take this reference of this activity and then we need to take this layout ID okay like this and we need to delete this and now our binding will be set using this okay then we can access all the views with the help of this binding now we can access all of the views with the help of this binding thing so let's just write few actions which we want to perform when we click on this next button right so let's say we want to click on this and we want to change this image and this text right so let's say we create setup click listeners one method we are creating okay and inside this we take reference from binding this next button and we write set on click listener okay and inside this what we want to change is we want to change this image and this text so first of all so we can just take one list of images right we have three images so we can just create images or let's say onboarding images and this will be a list of drawable and we are not going to specify explicitly we can just say r dot drawable dot one r dot drawable dot two and r dot drawable dot three okay these are our images so we are just taking one variable step by default this is the first step okay so what we are going to do here is we are just going to check if step okay so if our step is 1 we will do something if our step is 2 we will do something and if our step is 3 we will do something okay okay now when we click on the button we want to change this text and this image so for this text also we need to give an ID TV onboarding message maybe yeah this is fine let's take this and inside this step we need winding we will access the text and when we will set the text so we'll just take the string r dot string dot onboarding message one okay this is for setting the message then we can set the same message to in the second step and if we are at third we can set the third message now let's talk about image so we want to set this image we will take this iv onboarding we will just use this set image resource we will take one image from this list so we will just take dot get or we will use this syntax we will just pass step minus one why because right now step is first so we need the first image which is at zeroth index inside the list and so on okay so we will take the same thing we will set here we will take the same thing and set here now we need to increase the step whenever we click so here after we perform this operation what we do we just come inside this and we set up these images and then we update the step okay or we can just take it out of these methods and we can add here after performing this now let's try to run our application and let's see how it is looking so far 
okay so our application is installed let me just relaunch it for you guys okay we can see the image message and these buttons so if, so if we click on this we'll come on the next screen then if we again click we'll again come to the next screen and here at the last step we want to change this next text and we want to remove this skip button as well okay so first of all we'll go to the string we will take this we will add one string we will add this as get started okay and when we come inside this third step we will just change the text of the button next which is this one this button okay this one we will make the change to get started and we will change the and we will and we will make this skip button disappear okay view dot gone okay and at the last step we want to modify this button style also so let's use apply here we want to perform a lot of things so we will also modify the background color so we will take this and we will take color color dot let's take primary variant itself and what it is showing context compact or something so we can use this context compact dot get color let me just import this and we need to pass the context here and then our color name okay now we can run our application we can see this change and then at the last our button is changed this is disappeared but that button text color also we need right so we need to set here set text color and this one we need white right this one okay so our application is launched and if we click on the next button we can see the next image is changed and new text is also present and we click again and we can see the new image and we can see some text is there and we have get started button and then we have that button skip button also disappeared if we check this out again this is screen is full screen but we need some kind of indication as well right so for that let's implement one simple indication okay let's minimize this and open this split mode for now let's minimize here and for here we can implement one linear layout for now let's quickly implement one linear layout and height we can just give as 8 dp and orientation will be horizontal okay yeah and let's make it as weight some 3 or well, let's give 3.2 you will understand it why and before that let's add top to top of parent start to start of parent and to end of we will take the same thing from here parent now inside this we will just keep empty space view and width we will give 0 dp height we will give match parent weight we will give 1 that's it ok then what we are going to do we will just take three views and between these views we will add some space one another view basically so let's paste ok first of all let's give id to these view ok so let's say step one 
let's make it as id step 2 we can use libraries also but for now because we want to do it quickly we are just going to use our own simpler implementation here later on we will enhance this and here we can just add background as white for now let's add white this also and this also let's see how it's looking like so we can just resize it and let's give some margin from top 18 dp okay we have some progress but let's add one empty view between this so we can just take like this we can remove all of these IDs and weight will be 0 0.1 okay and this weight again we'll add here weight we will add 0 0.1 we'll remove this white space so can we see some yeah you can see at the top some space is there now we can add the same empty space here so if you see we have 1 1.1 2 2.1 2.2 and 3.2 so we have some space here let's remove let's reduce the size little bit if we give 5 dp this looks fine okay this is fine for now and do we have any other dull color instead of white we can take this light vg okay fine we have taken this so let me just take this inside styles or oh, let's go let's go without taking this from the style so what we are going to do is first whenever we are on this we will make this as active okay so let's close other tabs and first of all whenever we come inside this so we will do something we will create one method and we will take the first step and we will change the background color okay and we'll take with context compact dot get color context and color we will take as primary variant okay this one now we need to do the same thing wherever we go on the stabbing part so if we come here okay so what we are going to do we will take the second step and we will set this color and whenever we come to the third part we will set this color okay now let's run and let's see how our application will look okay let me quickly relaunch our application so our app is launched and we can see that we are at the first step join the best social app of the century we click on this next button our second step is selected we are at the second step communicate with your friends and family with ease and then if we click on this next button this will change to get started this is skip button will disappear and we will come on the third step okay and now we are ready to click on this get started and then we will go to the authorization module okay so let me just go back I need to do one thing quickly we will add here foreground and this will be selected item background selectable so that you will feel the difference basically you will see the click if you click on anything you will see okay we can see that this button is clicked or not see if we click on this you will feel the difference right now if I click again one animation is there right and then when we click on the get started we want to go to the next screen right 
that we'll see in the next video that is coming very soon to you okay so that's it for today guys i hope you enjoy this part and if you like my content please support my channel i need your support very much because youtube algo will share my content to new people if you will add some valuable comments you can share with your friend as well so that new person can also join us on this coding journey and i will keep on sharing you android and kotlin and data structure content using kotlin so stay tuned and please subscribe to my channel i will see you in the next video